Hey everybody, welcome back to Otto's Retirement Corner. Um, gee, I'm glad you didn't take it personally. <laughs> uh, you know, when I, when I was 13 in 1970, I read a book called Ball Four. And it was written by Jim Bouton, who was a Major League Baseball pitcher. And I was an avid baseball fan. I read everything baseball. I watched everything baseball. My life was engulfed by baseball. I read this book, and it was, in essence, his diary of his season as a pitcher for the Seattle Pilots and the Houston Astros that year. And he detailed what went on behind the scenes on a baseball team, whether it was at home or traveling. And it was filled with stories about alcohol and drugs and chasing after women and gambling and all sorts of hijinks that go on. And this infuriated the baseball world and the sports world. Who was this guy to say all these things? Why did he reveal this? He got a lot of tr players in trouble, you know, both with the drug use, the alcohol use, and, you know, the philandering, cheating on their wives. And he took a lot of heat. So a couple of years later, he came out with a book entitled, I'm glad you didn't take it personally. And this is, this is what this video is. Um, this is going back to my last video about the Republican Study Committee's um, report on Social Security within their larger 184-page manifesto. Um, and interestingly enough, <laughs> there's been a lot of videos about this, and even the, the far right or the right-wing YouTubers are criticizing them for this. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, but. But what surprised me, not, it didn't surprise me, what, what alarmed me was the comments I got. This is actually the first video I did where I lost subscribers. I had a net loss of nine subscribers. And, you know, for those, you know, those of you who don't like me, I hear you cheering in the background. Uh, okay, boom, took a hit on the chin on that one, but that's okay. Because um, it, it brought up a lot of things that we need to talk about. So... I got a lot of criticism, obviously, and a lot of the criticism was around the fact that, okay, you're criticizing Republicans, so you must be a Democrat. I don't want to listen to you anymore. So let me just read you some of the examples of, of comments if you haven't, you know, if you don't go back in there and read them all yourself. Uh, Cindy James said, I can't even finish watching this. I am getting so mad. And I asked her, Cindy, what are you mad about? And of course, it doesn't come back and say anything. And, and that, that's probably what bothers me most. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't like you getting mad, but, you know, talk about it. What, what is it? Let's figure it out and let's, let's settle it. Um, you know, she, she went on in another comment. I have a strong feeling you are a dem. I am not. Okay. You know, I didn't expect everyone to have my political viewpoints. I try to keep them hidden, but, you know, occasionally they might leak out. But they go to both sides, so I'm, I'm not sure what you're seeing here other than, oh, I was criticizing what some Republicans said, so I must be a Democrat. That's absolutely not true. Uh, Makono says, are you a Dem or Republican? You have to choose. No, I don't. I'm not either. I'm a registered independent. I vote for Democrats and Republicans and independents. I don't have to choose. Um, Cape County, country, I'm sorry, Cape Country, says, obvious the way you lean, see ya. Well, you know, I know in my videos I watch, I, I tend to lean this way a lot, and that is to my left. <laughs> but I'm not sure what that's about, other than maybe the chair, I don't know. Um, but no, it's not obvious the way I lean, or it shouldn't be obvious the way I lean. Because um, I, you know, I'm, I'm liberal on some topics, and I'm very conservative on other topics. Um, 88888 Gerald said... So can we assume you vote Democrat? The only thing that bothers me about this is the infantile way you have to say Democrat. Um, grow up, say Democrat, <laughs> leave it at that. Um, Tina Vestal says, enjoy your communism, bye. Um, okay. <laughs> Whatever you like, comrade. Um, it just, just a weird comment. John says, go get a job, bum. I want a job. I don't need a job. I'm retired. <laughs> I don't. I you know. I don't know if that was a political statement. It was just a cute comment in, in my comments. J Smith seven thirty four says, "Sounds like you are a Biden guy. I am not. Good luck to you." 
I don't know what I said that makes you think I'm a Biden guy. You know, the truth is I'm not a huge fan of Joe Biden. Um, I speak truth. If Biden says something stupid, I'll tell you. If Biden says something smart, I'll tell you. If Republicans say something stupid about him, I'll tell you. If they lie about him, I'll tell you. If they tell the truth about him, I'll tell you. I don't care. So, you know, the, the good luck to you. I'm, I'm guessing he's saying, you know, the same see ya. So Kevin in Phoenix says, just present the facts without the obvious political comments. Argue the facts and not the partisan beliefs. Well, if you want to talk about political comments, that was what this manifesto was. You know, here's some of the comments that this Republican group wrote. Biden's approach to Social Security puts the program in a precarious position. That's a political comment. It doesn't matter why or how we're in this position. Present your recommendations to solve this condition. You know, then they say, you know, reckless spending policies of President Biden and congressional Democrats. Well, what, you know, that's a political statement. You're blaming the other party for a problem that may or may not exist and they may or may not have caused because you think you're scoring political points. You know, the Biden inflation crisis is bankrupting, bankrupting Social Security. You know, again, it's a political statement. That's, that's what this is. And that's why I made the comments I did. This is filled with political statements, not solutions to our problem. President Biden is using scare tactics. Really? <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, come on. You know, so, so when you say, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm making this political, understand who made it political. Uh, Corey Doyle, 8709, says, Gee, I wonder what your political affiliation is. I don't actually care how you vote. I just don't care to hear you about your political opinions. Didn't give you my political opinions. Whether you believe it or not, those are not my political opinions. I was just commenting on misstatements, lies, untruths, whatever you want to call it, dishonesty. Um, so, you know, the overall theme here was that when they made these comments, and I, I'm going to try to comment back to as many people as possible or answer questions. You know, I promised that in the beginning, and I'll do that as long as I can. Um, to each of these people, I, I, I typically would come back with, well, what bothered you about this? What makes you think it was partisan? You know, I, I'd ask them some question to draw them out. And, you know, almost to a person, they, they just run away. You know, come back and converse. All right. Um, let's say I was a Democrat. Let's say I was a Biden fan. Why is that a reason to run away? Have the conversation. That's how we solve problems. That's how we learn. I mean, that's my goal is for me to learn and for my viewers to learn and understand the topics we discuss, hopefully related to, you know, retirement, which Social Security is. The politics, you know, in many ways are related to, to retirement because they affect our retirement and our, our financial stability. But there, there's no reason to run away. There, there's absolutely no reason. You know, if you're going to make, if you're brave enough to make the statement, be brave enough to come back and discuss what you said and why you said it. And I will give a shout out to one person who, who is clearly a conservative and says it. Um, Borland, uh, Borand, Borand Dell, 9915. Um, we had, you know, after he insulted me many times, I kept coming to him and saying, well, you know, what's the issue? And, you know, well, you won't discuss the policy. And I said, you know, any policy you want, I'll discuss. And he brought up many policies that have absolutely nothing to do with uh, Social Security. You know, homelessness, uh, uh, you know, the border. Um, when we discussed these things, I enlightened him. He enlightened me. And, you know, he gave me a chance and I gave him a chance. And we had discussions. We clearly don't agree on a lot of things. We clearly did agree on some things that maybe he thought we didn't. Um, I think I surprised him by my stance on some things because he made the same assumptions all these other people made and he found out they weren't true. Um, so, you know, that, you know, my next video will be about the same report talking about Medicare. It's, it's going to be pretty much in the same vein. It's going to be much shorter because there's not much as much in there. Um, get ready for it. But 
comment and, and discuss, whether it's with me or with other people. You know, I saw some other people going up and back. You know, it, it doesn't have to be insults. Discuss the, the issues. Discuss, you know, if it's politics, if it's Social Security, if it's Otter. Um, Otter, Otter wanted to make a... Uh... <laughs> okay, that was a little embarrassing. All right. Um, so, again, yeah, um, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. <laughs> i got to make up for the nine lost subscribers from my last video. And uh, like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.